Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. It's Alma. Welcome back. So it is Sunday, May the 20th. Guys, we have 11 days until the June challenge begins. I'm excited. I hope to find out if indeed there is a difference in my weight loss with the elimination of sugar alcohols, artificial sweeteners, all that stuff. So let's find out, guys. We start in 11 days. I've actually started a little bit already. I've gotten rid of my coffee. Day six. Day six without coffee. Ah, yeah. And David's still alive. It's a good sign, guys. This might this might work. So what am I here for today, guys? We're gonna do an unboxing of an item that I purchased as well as just kind of go over some of the non-kitchen things that you might want to have on hand for this lovely challenge that we're gonna be doing together. So the first item is a bathroom scale, guys. So I know we don't want to be a slave to the scale, although I will say that I do better when I weigh daily. That just keeps me on track and so have a scale on hand, all right, guys? And the next thing is um, right here, guys. You know, you're, we're gonna be drinking a ton of plain water, all right? Maybe a little bit of flavorings occasionally, but if you're just drinking plain H2O, guys, this is great. Have a water bottle that has a filter system in it, all right? So this is what this one looks like, all right? This was given to me by my oldest son for Christmas. And then my youngest son just purchased one that is by Britta and he loves his. This will allow you to drink your tap water and not have to invest in all the water bottles. So up to you guys, just optional. All right, next thing is all the things that you'll be using in a nice little compact location, all right? I have something like this. So let me show you what I have in my little bag of tricks. So I primarily use the top layers for my keto journey. Top layer looks something like this, guys. Let me show you what I have in here. I have all of my lovely little alcohol swabs so that I can prick my finger and test my blood sugars as well as my ketones. Speaking of that, here are the three meters that I have. So what I have here is this little guy, which is the freestyle. I don't use this very often simply because the test strips are so darn expensive. If they ever go on sale, I might use it, but not until then, guys. Next one is my Novamax. This tests for your ketones as well as your glucose. At the time that I was purchasing this, it seemed like it had the most affordable uh, ketone strips until now. I'll share that with you in a minute. And then my lovely little Rely On. This is purchased from uh, Walmart. It's very affordable, guys, as are the strips. The only thing is you can only test your glucose, but the strips are very affordable. I also keep all of my little test strips inside of here. All right, so what's in here, guys? Check it out. So in here, I have my little finger pricker thing. I don't know what it's called, guys. And then all of the needles that are associated with it. I keep my extra bottles of test strips in here. And a measuring tape. Yeah, guys, doesn't hurt to measure, guys. At least do it day one of our challenge. And it's, again, the last day of our challenge. All right, so not mandatory every week. So what else do I have? I have this little guy. I purchased this for $1, a Dollar Tree, along with the alcohol you can purchase for $1. And you can buy a bag of a zillion cotton balls for a dollar. So for $3, you can walk away with everything you need for a significant amount of time for getting your little fingers cleaned off before we do our ketone testing and or our glucose testing. All right, so what you do is you take off the lid, you hit this and it dispenses a little bit of alcohol for you and you're good to go. So let me show you what else I have. So I was watching, I'm pretty sure it was Iker Keto, and he had a meter that I had seen probably maybe a year and a half ago and it was still pretty pricey at the time. However, now it looks like it's at a really good price for testing your ketones. So here it is guys, check it out. Keto Mojo, all right? This box here is $59.99 on Amazon with free shipping and handling. In the description box, you'll find my affiliate link for this lovely little product. Check it out guys, $59.99. Let's do an unboxing and I'll show you what it comes with. What do I have in here? So it comes with a lovely user guide. All right, it also has a quick start guide. That's really good. And then the owner's manual. So there you go. And then this little pouch. All right, let's open the back, see what we have. All right, guys, check it out. Here's what's inside. Let's talk about it. All right, so look at this, guys. You get an entire package of 10 ketone strips for the price of $59.99. It includes 10 ketone strips. That's wonderful. And 
than the lovely little meter itself. Nice and hefty, we'll test it out. I'll actually be testing this along with my um, Nova Max, just to kind of get a comparison on the numbers. And then a lovely little pricker thing. I don't know what it's called, guys. So that, and then, I don't know, 10 or so of the needles for it. And then there's this, guys. I don't know what it is, I'll have to find out. So maybe I'll do a video that shows you my first use of this little machine. So guys, I don't have prime service. I ordered it on Thursday and I got it at my front doorstep on Saturday. So we have 11 days, guys. If you're interested in this, this is fairly affordable. Think about it, guys. You have 10 test strips. So if you're on a budget and you wanna purchase the unit, week one, and then place your order for your test strips for 50 of them for $49.99, go for it, guys. It's really good pricing. A lot of the units are anywhere from two to $4 that range um, per test strip. So really, really good price. Anytime I find uh, information about more affordable units, I'll share it with you guys. You also know that I have this little guy. This was 99, this actually tests your breath. And this was $99 and it's a one-time purchase. All right, so I will leave information about this as well in the description. So let me tell you what I was doing, guys. I was testing my blood sugars and realized I was using expired um, test strips. So, I'm gonna do a test tomorrow to find out if there was a difference so I will know if I was, if my readings were false or not, I don't know. So, um, what did I do? I purchased new ones. So these are the Rely On, I got this from Walmart, very affordable guys. I can't think right off the top of my head. I think maybe I paid $6 for this 25. Um, not sure, I think it's actually cheaper online. Um, but I will leave information in the description as well as this here to test your urine strips. These are not mandatory, guys, but if everything else is a bit um, out of your price range, this here is between five and seven dollars for 50 of them. Is that 50? Yeah, for 50 of them. So that might be your price range. They're not always accurate, but you know what? If it gives you peace of mind, have at it, guys. All right. So there you go, guys. A few things that you might want to have on hand for the month of June and going forward. So it helps us better understand what's going on in our bodies in regards to our blood sugars uh, and ketone levels. All right, guys. So here we go. 11 days away. All right, guys. I look forward to following your journey and uh, sharing mine with you. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork fries, pork fries, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.